Hey, what's happening, one Jody Man here, and welcome back to the Swan Song. Today is episode eight, and this is actually uh, we're actually four games ahead since the last episode you joined us. Unfortunately, I recorded one whole episode, and I just messed up the recording. I essentially just recorded my face. I didn't do anything else. I didn't record the gameplay. Um, so we're going to catch you up just a little bit. So in the last episode, uh, we only had one draw and three defeats, so you didn't really miss much. Uh, we drew first one one against West Brom. Uh, Noose, uh, we got Jay Rodriguez getting a goal, then in Callum Wilson equalize him uh then in the next game we'd lost one three against west uh, liverpool um johan bali the brand new sign and talk about him in just a few moments getting a debut goal uh three one actually on one nil up and we held on till the halftime one nil but unfortunately liverpool came storming back in the second half in a 10 minute flurry of goals uh then we played uh man city 2-1 we were very unfortunate here johan bali giving us uh an equalize in the 68th minute of the game but a penalty from uh, Ilkay Gudongan um, in the 90th minute of the game, the very last kick of the game, gave uh, Man City the victory over us. And then uh, most recently, it was a 3-0 drop in against the West Ham. So um, that pretty much caught you up. Uh, there has been two signings since the last time, three signings, I guess, since the last time you joined us. Callan Chambers on loan from Arsenal for the remainder of the season. Put him in on a pretty cheap deal. Happy to have him on board. Gives us extra coverage at the back. And then I spent quite a bit of money on our centre half, Christopher Julian, signing from Toulouse for uh, £10.25 million. Pounds, a lot of money, but the guy does have unbelievable quality and potential. He's only 24 years old because he get a little bit better in the future. Uh, jump into 20. Markings 18, positioning's 18, strength and tackling 19. So as far as centre-halves go, this guy pretty much ticks every box you would want to have in a centre-half. Um, then I signed a Johan Bali. He's a target man, um, essentially. Um, the problem was that, um, well... Wolf of Boney's been crap all season. So I brought in another target man to replace him. Uh, acceleration 17. He's quick. Acceleration 17. Pace is a 17. Jump in 19. Strength 20. Um, he's a prototype big man. He's got himself a couple goals now in uh, three games since joining us. So very, very happy to have him on board. board and I think he's going to be kind of an impact player for us. He's already got himself a couple of goals. So proven to be correct there. But uh, anyway, in this episode, we take on Watford, Leicester, Burnley and Brighton. All these games are very winnable as long as you play up to our full potential. But unfortunately, in the last episode, that wasn't really the case. So um, all right. So here we go. Everyone's fit, everyone's ready to go. So we've pretty much got a full strength team. The only ones we're missing today are Leeway Fur and Nathan Dyer, who's out for quite some time. He's not going to make an appearance this season, I wouldn't imagine. All right, so coming in today, Fabianski Ops going to be in goal. Left uh, left back's going to be Martin Olsen. Right back, Callum Chambers. Uh, centre half, we're going to do um, Alfie Mawson and Christopher Julian. Holding midfielder today is going to be Roque Mesa. Sir Serge Dada is going to be in midfield alongside Adam King and Tom Cowell. With, of course, uh, Callum Wilson and Johan Boli leading the line. On the bench then, we'll do Mulder, we'll do Vidal, we'll do uh, Michael Dawson, uh, we'll do Leon Breton. We're struggling for midfielders right now. Could bring back Jay Fulton. We talked about that actually previously in the last episode. And then we have Jordan Ayew, Tammy Abraham, and Wilfred Boney completing the bench. So here we go, Vicarage Road. Let's try and get a win to start this episode. I'd like to see us get four maximum points from this episode, but I'm going to be realistic. I'm going to shoot for nine points. So that's three wins out of possible four. That's the goal. Let's see if we can do it. So uh, 20 minutes in, get in there. Johan Bali gets his third goal in four games. Um, so far, so good. Uh, spoke too soon, I suppose. Well, for the back on level terms, Pereira getting the goal. All right, so how's everyone doing? As far as performance wise, Adam King struggling. Cat Chambers is doing okay. Julian's okay too. Jeez, uh, 2 1 up. Decorde getting a goal in the 40th minute. I wonder if he punched that one in. All right. Um, yeah, 45 minutes on the clock. They've only had two shots on target. Jesus. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. All right. Again, this is a game we could win. And we're not so disappointing. Uh, also, yeah, I've got an announcement signing as well. We're going to sign uh, Fellaini in the summer on a free transfer. That should be a pretty good uh, summer signing for us. Uh, should definitely help strengthen the midfield. Callum, oh, come on, Callum Wilson. Oh, he's been so patchy his form this season. Uh, it's very disappointing. I'm going to bring on Jordan Ayew. I'm going to push these guys forward a little bit more. Uh, everything's looking pretty good there. We'll stick with that. Callum Wilson's been 
Paul today. Let's bring on uh, Tammy Abraham. Yeah, let's bring on Tammy. Natural, not more of a natural partner to Bowley than Boney. Um, let's bring off Chambers too. He's been poor. Let's bring on Vidal. All right, so 73 minutes on the clock. Got 15 minutes. I get in there. I say 15 minutes getting equalizer, but Jordan Ayew got on the self on the score sheet coming off the bench. Impact all there from Jordan Ayew. He's been poor this season, you know. I expected a lot more of him as well. He's a good rotation player, but I don't really see keeping him in for the long run. All right, so final whistle's gone. All right, so it ended up in a draw. Not a bad draw, but still a game I felt like we should have won in. Uh, Watford themselves are in the lower half of the table. I saw we now, I suppose. Nine points clear of Huddersfield. Um, all right, so not a terrible way to start the episode. However, Dada's going to be off the next game, and... Since we are really struggling for midfielders, I'm going to have to recall um, Jay Fulton. So he'll be available for the next game. All right, so moving forward. Yeah, as I mentioned, I'm going to sign Fellaini in the summer on a freebie. Um, I'll show you that, actually. We signed a couple more players, too, in the future, if you guys haven't been keeping up with the series. Um, basically, Balotelli is going to be joining us for Nice. Fellini is going to be joining us from uh, Man United. And we're also signing uh, Johan Kabayi as well from Crystal Palace. So um, a number of players that I think will definitely help this team out. Uh, Balotelli, I just wanted to manage him because he's difficult. And I thought it might make the save uh, a little more interesting. Um, all right, so next up, I believe we have Leicester, question mark, if my memory serves me correctly. Yep, Leicester at home. Um, any 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 players? No, nope, don't think so. Um Ross McCrony, no, yeah, I don't know him. All right, so Lee Furs back to full training too. That's a that's a definitely a big boost for us. We needed him back. He's an important cog in our in our system. And we haven't got many good midfielders to begin with, so having Leroy Fur back is is a big big deal. All right, so here we go. Leicester at home. Let's see what they look like. Slamani has been leading the line for them. Jamie Vardy's only himself two goals this season. Very surprising. Inacho has got himself. 10 goals. Okazaki's got himself five. Um, yeah, so kind of a so-so team, really. Nothing special. Kind of similar to us, really. It's kind of same boat. Um, so Leroy Fur goes straight back into the team at a dirty. He's unhappy about something. He wants a new contract. That's probably something I can definitely do. Um, Adam King, I could probably get him a new deal as well. He started that really strongly. He's got himself six goals in the League Cup this season, uh, believe it or not. But he's been he's been struggling as of late, as you can see from the sixes and the fives. Um, with that in mind, I actually might just put Liam Britton back in the side today instead of him. All right, so the rest of the team could probably say the same. Actually, I'm going to do Vidal instead of Chambers. That's what I was going to do. All right, so here we go. Leicester at home. This game is very winnable, and uh, I want the boys to try and get back to winning ways. It's been five games now without a win, so it's important we do so. All right, so uh, 20 minutes in, nothing much happening. There's Bowley again with the effort. Good save there for us from the keeper. It's hard to keep up with the match. Um, obviously, the, yeah, the text. So I'm getting like hit. Uh, get in there. Johan Bowley won't stop scoring. Johan Bowley. Johan Bowley. Johan Bowley scores goals. That, that's the first kind of song that comes into my head. Don't know why. You could probably think of someone better. If you guys think of any better than that, please put it in the comments below, of course. All right. So it's got a hold until halftime. Callum Wilson, never mind, get himself a 10th goal of the season. Disappointing outlay. Scott expected a lot more than that for £13 million. But you know what? You know what? I think the start of a blossoming partnership between those two and Vidal makes it 3-0 uh, just inside of the second half. So it's looking like it's going to be a comfortable victory. Um, and Johan Bolli gets a second goal now of the game. Yeah, we can probably take it off attack now and go back to normal. Just to finish off the game, no need to be on attack at all. All right, so uh, looks like it's going to be our first win of the episode. Can make a couple of changes, freshen some legs up out there. Take a look at the condition of the guys. Fur's struggling a little bit, coming back from injuries. Adam King could come on for him. Um, I got himself a goal last time. Could give him a run out today, up top alongside Bowley. So I want to get try and get Bowley his hat trick. Gets a hat trick. That's always fun. I always like to give players the opportunity to get a hat trick if they possibly can. It's just better for their morale than bringing them off with two goals. All right, so looks like it's going to finish 4-0 here. 
and that should catapult us back into the top half of the table, I believe. It does, yeah, it puts us back up to ninth. So good news, good news, good news. And also, by the way, before we continue any further, I want to give a shout out to Matt Tierney and his uh, championship manager save. Uh, please go check it out. Um, I'll put a link for that save in the description below. Uh, make sure you go check it out for yourself. It's a lot of fun. He's managing Crystal Palace right now, and he's doing a great job at it. So definitely worth your time if you enjoy this kind of championship manager gameplay. Uh, anyway, moving on. Um, perfect. Kind of sit ninth in the table, looking good. Only got ourselves nine games left this season now. Crazy, crazy. We're almost done with our first season in charge of Swansea. And um, yeah, it's been so far. It's been really enjoyable so far. I'm looking forward to the uh, summer transfer window. Try and get some more quality players in to go along the side of the ones we have. Um, did, that, did I read that correctly? I think I just saw that Charlton and Blackburn... Wait, no. Oh, no, it was a different cup competition. I was say Charlton and Blackburn are through to the League Cup final. No, it's going to be West Brom and Arsenal. Um, I was going to say that'd be absolutely craziness if that happened. Two League One sides like that getting through to the League Cup final and getting a chance to play in Europe. Um, I still want to bring this guy back. I still want to bring, bring him to the side. Uh, Timothy Fonsi Mensa is a really, really good right back. And um, he definitely fits the bill. He's contract aspiring. He doesn't want to leave Man United. I've tried to sign him multiple times, but he just hasn't been bothered. Doesn't want to negotiate with me, which is understandable. Um, we'll probably have to wait for the summer to bring him in. But he's definitely a player that I've got a, a close, keen eye on. All right, so... What's up, the international break? All right, so uh, next up... Who do we have? I forgot already. Uh, Burnley. We got Burnley away, then Brighton at home. A couple of big gaps in between these fixtures, so going to head continue a couple more times, and we should be into the, straight back into the action. And take a look at the reserve team real quick. Uh, McBurney got himself one goal so far in the cup competition. He did play in. He's not really concerned and done anything special. Um, Gore's the same. Good Johnson's the same. Haven't got really anyone exciting in the reserve, disappointingly. All right. So here we go. Burnley away from home. They're rock bottom of the Premier League. Uh, only five wins all season. They're, they're essentially relegated. Uh, this should be a game we win comfortably. Um, Serge Dada is returned and he's available for today's game. So he'll come in for uh, Leon Britton, I suppose. Um, then I'll put Britton in for King. Because Britton had a really good game last time out. So he deserves at least a place on the bench. So here we go. Uh, Burnley away from home. Let's uh, see if we can make it two wins in a row. Leroy Fur getting on the score sheet gets in there, Leroy. Um, how many goals has he got this season? He's got himself six goals, five assists, so a pretty solid campaign for him. I mean, just I mean, just he's a very solid player. You need those kind of players in your squad just to help solidify the midfield. Callum Wilson scores, so he's on a roll right now. Get himself a couple of goals in a couple of games. Let's please him. And it's looking like this is going to be a pretty easy game. Looks like uh, Burnley really aren't up to the task. Who the f who the frick is Regan Booty? Re Regan Booty. He plays for Huddersfield, apparently, or used to, at least. Um, what's this similarly playing? Just out of interest. Probably a 4 4 2. I'd imagine Serge Dada made it to, oh, 4 4 1 1. Yeah, same formation as real life. Um, hmm, interesting. Anyway, uh, Serge, Serge just made it 3 0 for halftime. Uh, pretty much put this game to bed almost. We almost haven't got to try in the second half, to be honest with you. Um,. Let's go wait some halftime, halftime, make some changes. Perfect, awesome. Anyone struggling fitness-wise? Not really, so let's get the second half rolling. Um, I'd like to see Johan Bolly on the score sheets, continue his run. All right, uh, might go off, might go back to normal as well. Leroy Fogg getting a second goal. Congratulations, Leroy. Wait to the 60 minutes, I'll make some changes. There you go, 60 minutes on the clock. Let's make those changes. So... Bring off Carol. Let's bring on Britain instead. Uh, condition. Who else is struggling? Anyone else struggling? Um, not really. Bring off Alfie Mawson though from Michael Dawson. Uh, let's go to normal attack. Let's also bring off Bali and let's bring on Boney instead because why not? It's 4-0 up. Nothing nothing too dramatic is going to happen in this game. Um, Craig Bryson getting a goal back for Burnley though. Looks like Burnley could have been the toughest challenge in this updated series, I think. Looking at all the players they have, they're not rated very highly and very well. So I, I would imagine that Burnley are one of the tougher teams to manage. Um, all right, so uh, with that win, it puts us up to eighth position now. We're putting pressure. But we're five points behind Liverpool. Wow, West Brom are doing well, aren't they? Fifth place in the table. Jeez, didn't even notice that. 
Crazy, crazy times. The save is, the save is balked. The save is broke. West Brom on fifth place in the table. All right, so here we go. We got one more game left of this episode. Carl Bartley. Um... If we get a big bid for him, I probably might accept it. He is 26 years old. He's not really shown that much potential. I'm just going to no comment it for now. It could be a decent backup centre-half, though, going forward for us. Cheap option kind of scenario. All right, so uh, what else can we talk about real quick? Got a training report here. Tom Cowell apparently is improving. Ish. Uh, Jordan Ayew apparently is improving. Yeah, not really seen him. And Nathan Dyer is back to light training. Uh, back in full training in three months' time. So, <laughs> good good, good for Nathan. Um, Jay Fulton's come back and apparently is impressing McAuley. Which is good, because McAuley never looked impressed by anything. So, to impress him, that's a pretty pretty good sign. All right. Perfect. Lots of friendlies. Lots of international friendlies. Always give managers small heart attacks for players, fitness, and well-being especially nowadays back back in championship manager 0102 the original database i mean honestly that but that that time period no one really cared too much about the international friendlies you know what like if you you can send a player on away international duty it's not a problem but nowadays it's kind of slimy you know managers don't want the players to play for the international team well i understand that because you're paying the guys wages at the same time it's an international game you're playing for your country you're representing your country and i think that's i think that's more important than club just me personally, I think playing for your country is more important than the club. But then again, I do support Southampton, so not I haven't got really much of a, a club. Anyway, um, we're well, moving forward. We're going into the last game of the episode up against Brighton at home. Brighton currently 16th place in the table. Any star performances in there? Uh, Junior Hoylitz apparently is one of the better players. Uh, oh, yes. Davy Proper. Now, this is the guy I really, really want to bring in. Um, if they get relegated, he's got a 2.6 million pound release cause, and that's a player I'm definitely, definitely going to try and sign if they get relegated. So hopefully we can beat them today and uh, push them down, down a spot into the uh, relegation zone. Um, how's it looking down there, by the way? Um, down a couple spots, I should say. Um, not really tight. No, it looks like Newcastle, Huddersfield are going to go down here. They are four points behind, 30 points, uh, which is the uh, t so injury. Crap. All right, so Leon Brennan, that's fine. Anyway, um, yeah, there are, three, there are four points behind Crystal Palace and there are six points behind Brighton. So it's going to take some some turnaround for Brighton to get involved in this relegation fight at this point. But Callum Wilson's on a roll. Jesus, that's three and three now for Callum Wilson. And Bowley gets on the score. Oh, never mind. Wilson was offside. Bowley almost got another goal. Okie dokie. So what's going on here? 36 minutes, only 1-0 up. I'm always nervous when you're 1-0 up. That's natural, I suppose. Uh, they've only had a couple shots on goal, though, so that's pleasing. Everyone's putting in a good shift, too. Not many sixes up there, apart from Bowley. All right. Of course, he wouldn't have been a six if the goal had counted. So I'm not going to hold it against him too much. All right, so 53 minutes on the clock. 54, I should say, now. And it looks, I mean, we've got to get a second goal. We've really got to go for the second goal. I'm not going to take it off attack quite yet. I feel like it'd be dangerous if we sat back on our laurels. And Bulldog, Sam Bulldog's been sent off for Brighton. Um, that definitely helps us along a little bit. Um, all right, so uh, let's make a change up top. Let's bring on Will for Boney, uh, for Bowley. And uh, yeah, we're all there. That's fine. Ten minutes left to go. He's got to hold on now. Now I'm more tied. I am now I'm more inclined to sit back a little bit, go back to normal. Just because the downer men. And they've only got five minutes left. So we just gotta hold for five minutes essentially. Alright, so final whistle's gone. One nil victory. So uh good way to finish the episode there. We're now up to seventh place in the table. Uh only four points now behind um Liverpool. And West Brom, uh, we're catching, we're catching them up. We're catching them up. You never know. We might be able to sneak into a uh, European place, and that would be quite the achievement in the first season with Swansea City, wouldn't it? Um, obviously, they're very happy with that. So uh, let's go take a look real quick um, at the remaining fixtures, shall we? So we have, we see, we got uh, seven games left to go of the Premier League season. Uh, Man United next up, then Everton, Southampton. Uh, and then Crystal Palace, and then what we'll do is the last episode of the season is Newcastle, Stoke, and then Bournemouth. All these games are very winnable. The only one that's going to be tough is uh, Man United at Old Trafford. Apart from that, if we get six wins out of the next seven, 
there's a small chance we could make Europe. And uh, that would be pretty exciting stuff indeed. But uh, thank you all so much for watching the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like on it. Uh, what do you guys think of the new signings? What do you think of the uh, the direction I'm taking the club? Are you guys excited for the summer transfer window of the players like Fellini and uh, Balotelli and Kabai? Uh, those are all exciting talent. I'm looking forward to getting on board. I'm looking still looking to improve the back line and maybe bring in another goalkeeper in the near future. But uh, thank you all so much for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to smash a like on it. If you want to see more videos by me in the future, please hit subscribe, turn notifications on. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.